Eggs, milk, protein shake, bathroom tissue. Yeah, this is nothing. Hey everyone, you want to see me do my first corner shop order? I'm excited. Hey everybody, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. Today I'm so excited, after months I finally was able to accept a pavilion's order and right now I'm going to go ahead and say slide that I'm arriving to the store and there's some instructions, it looks like there's 10 products, 16 items, whoa, $70.92. Um, I think I'm going to get shopping and I'll make this uh, update a little bit later. Wow, that's a huge payout. All right, no instructions. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get started. This is a huge payout. I don't wanna risk the tip. Back in a bit. I found it. And it is four seventy nine. Alright, that's pretty easy. Next gluten free rice chips. One technique that's good is leave your cart. Don't walk with it when you're looking for items. Ah, oh, this is torture. Why can't I find anything? Ah, oh, I bet it's here. There's one and two ninety nine correct. And I have heard from watching Gig Life you have to pay attention to uh, the price. Aisle nine bamboo chopsticks. They were up high. One seven nine. Three ninety nine. And done. Pretty easy so far. Chips. Now we just need some milk. Apples. Here we are. Three large red delicious. 
Assuming we scan them. Oh, I guess not. But we do have to weigh them. All right, 1.5. Yeah, there's a little uh, accident damage in the parking lot. That's real exciting. All right, so let's bag everything up. Be gentle with the flowers, of course. I'll just put the water on the other side. All right, <clears throat> welcome back. That was uh, pretty easy. I am suspicious though about that $70 total. Does that include paying for everything? And then I get the tip as the change? Because so far they're asking for pricings, uh, estimated total before taxes. You know, what am I gonna do? Public math here? All right, let's get on the calculator. All righty, 67.52 minus 207. So that's sixty-five forty-five. All righty, sixty-five forty-five. Total after taxes is sixty-seven fifty-two. All right, so I completed that. What? Oh. Payment method. I did that. Alrighty, I used a uh, plastic bag, maybe three. And I do have um, all the bags at home, of course. Alright, so I'll just put three bags and then I will slide to finish. <clears throat> And looks like um, now you say go to delivery and ready to go. Okay, ongoing orders. All right, I won't include this on the video, but I also record all my deliveries. So this is to, all right, so just like the other apps, you wear a mask and they make you promise to be good and mark that you will. All right, so I marked that I am wearing a mask and then I'm slide to begin the ride. It says starting the journey and I'll select, I usually like ways for everything. Let's get started, drive safely. All right, right. let's go putting the wagon to good use. Whatever. Where it was frustrating is the address that the customer gave me didn't exist and I suspected it was at that location because that's a huge apartment area for some, I think, primarily international students. And I drove around several times trying to make sure that was the right spot. 
and I messaged the customer, called the customer with no response. I did reach out to the SOM, I forget what that stands for, but I'm sure it's a customer service agent at Corner Shop, and he let me know that the customer said previously people would leave the order by the FedEx box out front, really close to the street. And of course, I saw that there, so I dropped everything off and went back to my car, and hopefully I'll be off to get some other orders uh, for food deliveries. Welcome back. I did a little digging, and if you go into your account, Oh, an Albertson's order. All right, let's see what this is. Another corner shop. And let's see, seven miles to the store. Estimated earnings would be $35. 52 pounds. Distance to the customer's address. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll do it. Why not? All right, I'm going to do a second order. At least I see uh, what to do now. Man, the driving. <laughs> All right, these are far away. The store is like seven miles away. All set. Let's go. All right, let's do our next order. Eggs, milk, protein shake, bathroom tissue. Yeah, this is nothing. Interesting, so it tells you when it doesn't match it. Alright, I guess you can add stuff. What a pain. Got toilet paper. All right, milk, eggs, and protein powder. Pasture raised. Seems like sometimes these code, the scanning doesn't work. That's weird. Why does it not work, huh? Organic milk, DHA. Three of those. All right, five, 
$1.99. And next, let's find these protein shakes and we're out of here. So I can tell when uh, they don't have an item, what takes the time is trying to contact the customer and swap them out on a corner shop. It seems to be more of a manual process. And Instacart, you can kind of just do it. So we'll see if she writes back. Yeah, it's not bad to uh, get all these items and get paid $35, even with the mileage but waiting for the customer to come back and approve a change is frustrating. But I'll be patient. More to come. All right, back to school. Let's uh, fill out this information they're requesting on the order. They wanna know the subtotal before taxes. All right, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's get the calculator out. And this, time will be well spent as you reflect on how you can serve the customer delivering that order. It'll give you a chance to catch your breath, etc. All right, so it was 183.87 minus 13, 15 in taxes. So that's 170.72. Hopefully I'll remember that. 170.72. Total after taxes is 183.87. Oh, nice. We have to scan a code now. I hope this scans. All right, that, that seemed to work for Albertsons. And we finish. Uh, payment method was on that card that they sent me. So finishing that... And they had, I think, about four bags. I'll say uh, yeah, close enough. All right. And slide to finish. Now it looks like we'll be ready to deliver this second order in my entire life doing corner shop. This is so cool. All right, I'll leave this out of this video, but on my dash cam up there, I always talk about every aspect of the order. So if I have to go back for a customer complaint, I can figure it out. All right, uh, we are going to, uh, now we have to read instructions. All right, oh, promise to be good. Uh, social distancing and wear a mask. All right, and also put it in front of the door. Okay, I think we're ready to deliver. Use my favorite app, Waze. All right, let's get going and deliver this order. And I'll bring you along and show the drop-off. And I'm going to be using the wagon. All right, let's go. It's definitely heavy. Real heavy. Good, more stairs. Got to like that. Ah, uh, yeah, happiness everywhere. <sighs> Welcome back. I finished that second order and looking back through my phone, um, I was just reviewing the stats and even though it didn't take as long, I came back to this Albertsons. It's with the nice hills there in the distance. And uh, that trip still took me an hour from the time I accepted until I delivered. So I think this also counts for your total time once you accept. So I made $70.38 for basically two hours and 20 minutes. So that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and say that Corner Shop is my new best friend. And it'll complement Instacart very well. I don't really care for the 
so many uh, buttons you have to push when you're selecting the item. You know, the quantity, uh, the UPC code, the price. That does seem to be the non-value add but required by Corner Shop, and I don't understand why. And same thing, uh, doing the math in the car with the calculator on deducting the tax. But in the big picture of things, that's a small price to pay to be able to earn pretty decent money here in my market. I also forgot to mention, when I was looking through the phone contacting the customer, the message popped up saying that this was the customer's first order with Corner Shop and that I should consider communicating with them, you know, saying my name and being nice. And that made me think, you know what, that's a good point. It was my first day doing Corner Shop. I happen to have experience doing the other food delivery apps and shopping apps, so I'm familiar with the concept, but I didn't know how the app worked. I don't know how to replace items easily. I had to contact customer support and he helped me figure it out. So think about the customer. If Corner Shop or any other app is new in your area, consider that this may be that customer's first few orders and they may not actually know how to approve your changes or react when you say something's not available or if they wanna do something else. Or maybe the customer just thinks you place your order and you're done. And that can be frustrating as a shopper when you're trying to reach out and get feedback from the customer or to ask them to approve a change. So this time today doing these two corner shop orders, it really did make me reflect. I should be patient. Um, <laughs> I get impatient because as you well know, when you're shopping, time is money. And the longer you just sit waiting, you're losing money. So I like to get my order done as quickly as possible and then drive safely to the customer and drop it off. But I do need to be patient and consider the customer's point of view, especially if they're new. So I'm gonna figure out a way on Corner Shop as well to have my canned messages like I do on Instacart and the other food delivery apps. That way I can open communication easily with the customer. So I'll take my time learning how to use the app and give you additional tips on that. Please share in the comments below, based on these two deliveries that I did, what advice do you have for me? Especially those with a lot more experience. And if you're new, let me encourage you, please share in the comments below if you're gonna sign up for Corner Shop. I think you should. It's a great way to make money, adding Instacart to the mix, and throw in some food delivery apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub and then you can have multi-apping capability to be able to earn money in any market condition, unless they're all slow, of course. What a great end to the day. I hope you enjoyed seeing those two deliveries on Corner Shop, and I look forward to bringing you more content on this in the future. Until I do, stay safe out there, make your money delivering that food and shopping, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.